This is how I realized men from London ain't shit and somehow at the end of the story I ended up getting roofied. So I was talking to this guy from London on and off, right? Whenever I was with him, he was a gentleman, the sweetest person ever. When we were apart, he was on some fuck shit. I didn't trust him, we'd always be arguing, so we cut communications. Mind you, I'm gonna have to do a part two because this is a long ass story. It's not too long. So basically, um, a few months later, we ended up speaking, we were on FaceTime. We had a very serious conversation about everything that was going on with us. And I'm not gonna lie to you, it felt very different compared to our past conversations. So I really believe that things were going to be different. He mentioned that he moved to New York and he wanted us to spend time. So I ended up going to New York, he picks me up from the airport, we go for dinner. Mind you, I don't like partying. Partying is not my thing. I know that's his thing, but I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm here, let's just spend time. Let's just make the best out of it. Let's have fun. So we end up going to this party. I don't really like the vibe of the party. People in there were stingy. 